friends, and salamu alaikum. Welcome to Ramadan Books in Nadia's Nook. Today, we're reading Let's Celebrate Ramadan in Ayid by Ajanta and Vivek. This book talks about Maya and Neil and how they travel to India to celebrate Ramadan and Ayid with their friends. How do you guys like to celebrate Ramadan and Ayid? Well, come on, join me in your jammies and grab your favorite cuddly friend because it's time for... Ramadan books, Ramadan books, Ramadan books in Nadia's nook. Welcome back to my nook, everyone. Are you guys all comfy in your jammies? Great, me too. Who's ready to read? Bismillah, let's begin. Let's celebrate Ramadan and Ayid by Ajanta and Vivek. Hi, I'm Maya. I love to go on fun adventures in India with my brother, Neil. Hi, I'm Neil. We live in Chicago. We just landed in New Delhi to celebrate Ramadan and Ayid. Come join us. Hi, I'm Chintu, the squirrel. I love to join my friends on their trips. This is a map of India. India is a big country. It has many states, languages, festivals, and dances. Do you see the red spot on the map? That's New Delhi. Many Muslims live in India, including in New Delhi. Muslims celebrate Ramadan and Ayid festivals all over India and the world. Maya and Neil arrive in India and meet their friends, Farnaz and her older brother, Zakir. They also meet Khan uncle and auntie, Farnaz and Zakir's mom and dad. Salam, Maya and Neil. Hello, great to see you, Farnaz says. Salam. Thank you for inviting us to celebrate Ramadan and Ayid with you. We are so excited, Maya and Neil reply. So, what exactly are Ramadan and Ayid? Maya asks. Let me tell you, Han Auntie says. Info Zoom, what are Ramadan and Ayid? Ramadan is a special month in the Muslim calendar. During Ramadan, we fast for 30 days. Fasting means not eating or drinking. So, do we stay hungry all day? No, we eat before sunrise, but don't eat or drink all day. And then we eat again after sunset. Why do we fast? Many poor people around us do not have enough to eat. Ramadan makes us think about those poor people and feel thankful for all we have. Even if you are too young to fast, you can still celebrate Ramadan by giving up something you love, such as candy or a favorite toy. Ayid is the day after Ramadan ends. We celebrate with prayers, yummy food, and other fun stuff. Muslims actually celebrate two big Ayids. This one is called Ayid al-Fitr and is also known as Sweet Ayid. Can you guess from the picture why? The other Ayid is called Ayid al-Adha. The alarm clock sounds next morning. Maya and Neil's eyes pop open, but it's still dark outside. Zakir calls out, time to wake up. No, Farnaz says, I want to sleep more. It's time for our sahur meal, Zakir reminds her. What's sahur? Neil asks. It's the meal before sunrise. For those who fast, this is the only time they will eat before sunset. All right, Farnaz jumps out of bed. I don't want to miss all the yummy food. 
Zakir munches on dates. He declares, I want to fast this year. Yes, you are now old enough to do that, Han Auntie agrees. And how about me? Farnaz asks. Not yet, but you can give up something you like a lot, Han Uncle replies. I won't eat any candy or play with my favorite teddy bear for the next 30 days, Farnaz says. Farnaz looks very serious. I'm so proud of you, Farnaz, and you too, Zakir, Han Uncle says. We would love to do the same, Maya and Neil add. To celebrate Ramadan, we won't eat any candy for the next 30 days. It's no peanut for me, Chintu chirps. As the day goes by, Zakir gets hungry, but he holds strong. The rest of the kids have a quiet and quick lunch. Zakir, how are you able to not eat or drink all day? The kids ask. It's not so hard when I think of all the children around the world who do not have enough to eat. That's the whole idea behind Ramadan, Zakir replies with a smile. The day ends and the sun sets. The family once again gets together. Khan Anti calls out, Zakir, time for iftar or breaking your fast. Mom, Dad, and Zakir have dates and water to break their fast. Then they all have a tasty dinner. A few days later, Han Uncle and Auntie ask everyone to join them on a drive to a local shelter. It's a large building where a lot of poor people live who don't have much money. The kids walk into a giant dining hall where people are lined up to get food. A big part of Ramadan is helping those who need it the most, Han Uncle explains. Kids, you get to help serve food while we work in the kitchen. The children all quickly stand behind the food tables and start serving food. People give the kids lots of thanks and wish them well. The children and even Chintu feel very happy. The last night of Ramadan finally arrives. Han Anti tells them, Tonight is called Chand Rat, or the night of the moon. Ramadan ends tonight. Let's head to the market and buy new clothes. The kids are excited. They head over to a colorful market. Farnaz says, Maya, try on some of those bangles. Sure, Maya says. And what are you putting on your hands? It's a paste called henna. You can draw pretty patterns with it on your hand, Farnaz says. The boys pick up some cool new clothes for themselves. The next morning, everyone wears white or light colored clothes. Khan Anti tells them, Today is Aid. We will start the day by going to a famous mosque called Jama Masjid and do a special prayer for Aid. What is a mosque? Maya asks. A mosque is where Muslim people pray. Jama Masjid is one of the most famous mosques in the world, Han Anti says. Maya and Neil ask, Should we wear our new clothes now? No, we wear plain and light colored clothes now. We'll dress up only after Aid prayer is done. This is so that everyone feels equal in the mosque, no matter how rich or poor they are. After praying at the Jama Masjid, they meet outside and hug each other. Ayid Mubarak! Happy Ayid! Farnaz and Zakir are very excited. Now it's time for Ayid feast! Let's have lunch! They exclaim. They come home and change into their Ayid clothes. They all sit down at a table full of tasty food. Yum! This smells delicious, Neil says. They pass chicken, 
rice, and kebabs to each other. This looks like spaghetti and milk, Maya giggled and points to a bowl. Neil puts a little on her plate. This is called sheer kruma. It is a special food for Aid. It is made out of sevian, or thick pasta, and lots of milk, Zakir says. The kids finish every last bit of the yummy food. Time for your Edie, Han Uncle says. He gives them each a special envelope, which all kids get on the day of Aid. Chintu gets a box of nuts. Maya and Neil eagerly open their envelopes. Oh, wow! There's money inside. What should we do with it? Zakir says, How about we pull it together? We use half of the money to buy something we can all use, and we give the rest to someone who is poor. Great idea, everyone says. Han Auntie takes more envelopes in a bag. Kids, let's head out for Eid Milan and meet family and friends. We'll wish them Eid Mubarak. Let's not forget to take some sweets with us. They arrive at Zakir and Farnaz's uncle's house. They eat more food and share Huma. Uncle hands them more Eidi. Our money pool is getting bigger, the kids exclaim. Uncle introduces them to other guests who are from all around the world. Saudi Arabia, Somalia, Indonesia, and Afghanistan. Will you please tell us how Ayid is celebrated in your country? Maya asks the guests. <coughs> Info Zoom. Ayid around the world. In Saudi Arabia, people leave bags of rice outside the house for those who don't have much money. In Somalia, some people celebrate Ayid by doing a traditional dance. In Indonesia, people light traditional torches to welcome Aid. This ceremony is called Tundula Tohe. In Afghanistan, kids go from house to house saying, Hala Eidet Mubarak. They receive cookies called Pala. That was so much fun! Ramadan and Aid are such beautiful festivals, Neil says. I agree. I also loved the idea of helping poor people during Ramadan, Maya adds. We cannot wait for our next adventure. We wonder where that will be. We hope you can join us then, Maya, Neil, and Chintu say. Until then, salam. Wasn't that so much fun reading about how Maya and Neil learned all about Ramadan and Aid? I think so, too. I also thought it was cool how the book said that even if you're too young to fast, you can still participate by giving up something you love. What's something that you love that you might want to try to fast from? We'll stay till the very end of this video for a special bonus quiz. Inshallah. I can't wait to see you guys all tomorrow night when we read another book in my nook. Until then, good night and sweet dreams. Info recap. Let's look back on our wonderful Ramadan and Eid celebrations. What do people not do during Ramadan? Don't eat or drink from sunrise to sunset. How long is Ramadan? 30 days. What is Sahur? Meal before sunrise. What is Iftar? Meal after sunset. What is something we do during Ramadan? Help poor people. What is the last night of Ramadan called? Chand Rat. What is the festival after Ramadan called? Aid. There are two types of Aid. Which one did we celebrate? 
Aid o Victor or Sweet Aid. Which famous mosque did we visit? Jama Masjid. What is the famous food of Aid? Shir Huma. What is the Aid gift for kids called? Eidi. Is Aid celebrated only in India? No, all over the world. Great job on the quiz. See you tomorrow night. Bye-bye.